In years past, Acura made a pretty good business of taking a top tier Honda Civic, layering on some luxury, jacking up the price and putting on an Acura badge. In fact, in 2007, the first year they did this, the Acura EL accounted for almost 50% of Acura sales in Canada. But times have changed, crossovers now rule, and the all-new Honda Civic in its top touring trim is really luxurious, which kind of makes an Acura version completely redundant. So what to make of this 2018 Acura ILX that cost $35,000 and is based on the previous Civic platform? That is a tough question. Despite having bowed in 2013, the ILX looks pretty sharp in this San Marino red, rolling on 18-inch alloys and coming across like an entomologist's nightmare with those five beady LED headlights on the other side of its beak-like grille. To give the ILX a more premium aura, Acura took the Civic and stretched its nose, truncated its tail and gave it an angular body with a formal kink in the C-pillar. The interior shows all the expected Acura cues, dual screens on the center console, horizontal sweeping elements and decent build quality. The lower touch screen is a control panel while the upper unit acts as a display and there's a prominent hood that shields it from the sun's glare. It's a fairly intuitive system but lacks support for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And no heated steering wheel in a luxury car? for shame. This top trim A-spec gets leather and suede seats with two position memory for the driver. They're comfortable enough but they lack lateral support which I suppose is in keeping with this car's near luxury mission. The ILX engine is the old Honda Civic SI's 2.4 liter naturally aspirated 4. It makes 201 horsepower and 180 foot-pounds of torque and here it's mated to Acura's 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. And this is a pretty cool drivetrain because it's quite torquey around town, but the engine is pretty racy too, like the old Honda four-cylinders of yore. So get it above 4,000 RPM and it snarls and it zooms to the red line, which is kind of fun. So the ILX has quite good pace, but it's too bad the chassis doesn't really play along. It's too stiff-legged to be luxurious because there's plenty of clomping from those low-profile 18-inch tires. And when pressing on it, it doesn't really flow. By comparison, the new Honda Civic SI's handling is in another league altogether. The Acura ILX's biggest threat does not come from overseas but within its own camp because the all-new Honda Civic and touring trim has just about everything this car has. Plus, it's roomier, it's more comfortable, more efficient, and $7,700 cheaper. So, this car is kind of a tough sell. But if you are attached to the Acura badge and you want something unique, this ILX does deliver it with its racing engine. For Driving.ca, I'm Peter Blakeney.